Today we're checking out three new products from CFM, which is a sub-brand of the company called Nothing. I did check out their earbuds recently. I'll leave a link to those and everything else covered in today's video down below. I believe CMF stands for color, material, and finish, but the main thing they're trying to do is come out with good quality products at a more affordable price. We've got their Watch Pro, Buds Pro, and their 65 watt GAN power adapter as well. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, really cool package design with these, although they did forget the holes on this one. The Watch Pro comes in three different color options. You've got gray, dark gray, and then an orange color as well. It's got a 1.96 inch AMOLED display, built-in GPS. You can do Bluetooth calls with this. It's got heart rate, sleep, stress, and SPO2. It's made of an aluminum alloy frame. It has 110 sports modes, is IP68 water resistant, with a 340 milliamp hour battery. And they're saying up to 13 days battery life, so that's pretty good. Okay, really nice presentation here. Here's what the charger looks like for the watch. Okay, pretty nice. Of course, the user guide. It looks like they're using a real nice soft silicone material for the band. That's always good to see. Okay, super shiny, almost chrome-like material around the edges. You can see the type of connection for the band. Pretty standard stuff here. Pretty simple to put the band on. You can see your sensors are there on the bottom, along with your charging contacts. You've got a button here on the side, along with a speaker. Let's go ahead and do the setup real quick. Definitely want to choose English when setting up. Then you want to download the CMF app. Just sign into their app with the username and password. Then we should be able to pair it here. Then you just hit the little plus. Scan the QR code and hit the check mark on the watch. And that's pretty much it. There's really not a lot to set up on this. If it looks like the screen is flashing on the watch, that's just my camera. It doesn't actually flash like that in person. It looks like pretty standard stuff here as far as how to use the watch. Swipe up from the bottom to get notifications. Swipe down to get to your settings. You've got night mode, flashlight, battery. You can turn on and off where it wakes up just from turning your wrist. In settings, you've got dial settings, app view, display and brightness, sounds, do not disturb, haptic, language, system menu, user guide, and about. Then to go back, you just hit the button on the side. As you're going through the tiles, you'll see you have activity, heart rate, you've also got weather, also has sleep tracking on here. Then you have recents, contacts, and keypad for phone calls. If you tap and hold there on the clock, it's gonna give you some different options here to choose from. Here's a quick size comparison next to the Fitbit Versa 4. The band's not quite as long, which I'm okay with, and the screen's a little bigger, so I do like that. The screen on here actually feels really nice. If you push on the button there on the side, you get some options for exercise, exercise records, heart rate, blood oxygen, activity, sleep, stress, phone call, music, camera remote, weather, breathing, voice assistant, stopwatch, timers, alarm, flashlight, find my phone, and settings. If you tap and hold on the button there on the side, you have the option of reset and power off. Just watch how fast this restarts. I don't know if I've seen anything restart this fast. As far as the app goes itself, you've got heart rate, sleep information, blood oxygen, stress, exercise. You've got exercises like outdoor walk, running, mountain bike, your exercise tracking. You've also got quite a few settings in here you can adjust. It tells your battery life up here at the top. And you've got more watch faces to pick from as well. Definitely seems quite a bit thicker than my Fitbit Versa 4, but it still does look good on the wrist. Overall, feels like really nice build quality on this watch. I'll definitely have to test it out some more to see how accurate the workouts are. But so far, I definitely like what I'm seeing with the CMF Watch Pro. Here's what the Watch Pro looks like when it's charging with the CMF 65 watt wall adapter. So I would say a pretty good start for their first smartwatch. I might like it a little better if it wasn't quite as thick, but then again, the battery life might be worse. So sort of a trade-off there. 
The Buds Pro comes in three different colors, white, black, and their orange, almost red color. These earbuds are only $49 in the United States, so pretty affordable. They're 45 decibel, hybrid active, noise canceling earbuds. As far as battery life goes, they're saying 39 hours total, 11 hours if you have nonstop music going. So I would say that's pretty good compared to some of the competition. They've also got six built-in microphones, IP54, dust and water resistant. You can also customize Customize these with their adjustable equalizer. They have Bluetooth 5.3 and they have a custom driver with ultra bass technology. Again, really nice package design with these. Definitely feels like it's a little more unique. You've got some extra ear tips, USB C to USB A charging cable, user guide, safety and warranty information. Pretty interesting case here. Sort of looks like a hockey puck. Indicator light there on the front. USB-C charging on the back, along with some of that chrome material that you see on the watch. Design-wise, these actually look very similar to the AirPods Pro. Maybe just a hair larger than the Nothing Ear 2 earbuds. Overall, really nice design with these. You can pair these just like any other earbuds or headphones through your Bluetooth settings, but you can also use the Nothing X app to customize them a little bit or to go into the equalizer settings as well. You do have a pairing button here on the case that you can just tap and it should pop up right in the app. As far as controls go, double tap to skip forward or to answer and hang up calls. You can triple tap to go back or decline incoming calls and then tap and hold for noise control. So pretty simple as far as controls go. Here's what the equalizer looks like. You can say more bass, more treble, voice, or you can go into custom and make it just how you want. You can also customize what the controls do for each thing too, so that's nice to see. You also have different levels of noise cancellation, transparency mode, and of course you can turn everything off. There's also in-ear detection, there's a low lag mode, find my earbuds, and firmware update as well. Okay, noise cancellation actually works really good with these. It's not gonna block out 100% of everything, but still pretty good. Definitely brings everything around you down to a lower volume. So far, I like the design on these. They actually sound pretty good as well. I definitely like what I'm hearing. And the build quality on these are really nice as well. They actually fit my ears pretty good. They feel comfortable to wear. Now, just in my short time with the Earbuds Pro, these actually sound really nice. They've got decent bass, good noise cancellation. They're easy to use and pretty comfortable as well. So to me, unless you really Really like the transparent or a clear look of the nothing ear 2 design i don't feel the need to get those over the earbuds pro especially for the price their 65 watt gan power adapter actually charges the nothing phone 2 to 50 percent in 25 minutes but it's also going to work with several other devices like a laptop tablet watch or earbuds and it works with all major fast charging protocols so you can use this on a lot of different devices including Samsung and Apple, like a laptop, tablet, other phones, headphones, and of course their Watch Pro. They've also included safeguards against short circuits, overheating, excessive currents, high voltage, low voltage, interference, as well as flame retardant protection, outer shell. You can see you've got three ports on here. So the USB-A charges at 36 watts and both USB-C ports charge at 65 watts each. Now, obviously those numbers are gonna drop if you have more than one device charging at the same time, but overall just a really nice design here. And yeah, it's a little larger than most power adapters, but not too bad in my opinion. So hopefully this gave you a little closer look at these new products by CMF. I really like what I'm seeing so far and I'm curious to see what other cool stuff they're working on. I think most people are gonna be surprised at the quality of these more affordable products. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.